Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you my recipe for shrimp paragonate. Um, my grandmother is such a rebel. Now, traditionally, shrimp paragonate really are shrimp that are just topped with some like breadcrumb mixture and then baked. But of course, she's got to deconstruct everything and make everything her own. So growing up, this was her version of shrimp paragonate. She did not bake them, she did not top them. She made everything in one pan and it is like, the best thing she could come up with when it comes to this dish. It's not boring with just some plain old dried breadcrumbs from the can in the oven. This is made from fresh breadcrumbs. It's just so good and it's quick, it's easy, and I'm really excited to share it with you. So of course, let's go over the ingredients to get started. You're gonna need some fresh shrimp that have been peeled and deveined and the tail has been left on. You're gonna need some fresh breadcrumbs, some fresh chopped parsley, garlic, lemon, salt, pepper, olive oil. That's it. So good though. Now for the shrimp, you can either buy them with the peel on and you can just you know peel them and devein them yourself or you can have just your fishmonger do it or you can buy them like that already. So that's a good option. For the breadcrumbs, all I've done is taken three slices of ciabatta and I've just put it in the food processor and just pulsed it until it's got nice big crumbs. You don't want this to be too, too fine. Um, otherwise, it's, it's not gonna have a good texture to it. You know what I mean? Okay, so in this pan, nonstick, high sides, I got about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium high heat. I'm actually gonna crank this up a tad. Let's see if it's ready. If it's hot yet, we'll put a piece of garlic. That yeah, looks good. So in here, I'm just gonna put in my shrimp. And now, a quick tip, whenever you're cooking seafood with shrimp, scallops are a very good example of this. I always rinse mine when I bring them home from the store and then before I prep them, I always line them on a paper towel lined plate only because it absorbs any of the extra water, which means your seafood's gonna go good color instead of steaming too quickly. So that's a tip for the day. Just put these right in here. Beautiful sound. And these are gonna cook for about two to three minutes. They don't need very long at all. As you can see, it's already starting to turn color. And I'm going to just season this with some salt and pepper. Remember, you wanna season every step of your dish. Very important. Otherwise, you won't get a good balance of flavors. And this is gonna cook for about two to three minutes. They've been cooking for about two minutes. That's perfect. So now I'm gonna add in my chopped parsley, my chopped garlic, and some lemon zest. Not a whole lot of lemon zest because it can be overpowering, but lemon and seafood goes so, so well together. And Christmas Eve is around the corner, and us Italians, we have gotta have our seafood, seven fishes, the Feast of Seven Fishes for Christmas Eve. We've just gotta do it. So this is one of the dishes that's going on my table for Christmas Eve, absolutely. I'm gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds before I add in my breadcrumbs because what happens is I don't want the shrimp to overcook, but the breadcrumbs are not meant to be like super crusty and hard. They're just meant to absorb some of that flavor. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a few seconds. That, that's looking perfect. I mean, it literally takes just a few minutes because shrimp cooks so quickly. I'm gonna add a touch more olive oil, not a lot, but the breadcrumbs is gonna soak it up, so don't mm -hmm. worry. And now we're going to add in some of the fresh breadcrumbs. This might look a bit strange, but do not question anything Nona Laura makes because when she makes something, it's well thought out and it's, she's just the best cook of life. So this is what exactly what you're looking for. See that? That's just, oh. I'm going to let this cook for about a minute or so, stirring it around. You can really smell the lemon, the garlic, the parsley. Fabulous. Just cook it for a minute and then it's time to serve it up. It's that quick, it's like five minutes. Mm. That's perfect. I'm going to just squeeze in a smidge of lemon juice, not a lot, right at the end. Turn it off, give it a last stir. Look at that, look at that. Mm. Just put it right here. Let the breadcrumbs fall right on top. Oh. I've just got to have one, but I know it's gonna be so hot. I'm gonna take off the tail, get some of the breadcrumbs on there. You know it's gonna be hot. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Nonna, you did it again. Well, it's an old recipe, but first time I'm sharing it with you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it just as much as I do. And I hope that you just cherish those memories with your loved ones as much as I do. Because I'm telling you, food for me is what brings back to a beautiful time in my life. Growing up, great food, family, friends. That's what it's all about. Share these recipes with your loved ones on this upcoming you know, Christmas Eve. Share with them the traditional seven fishes. Because I tell you... So we're all about, you know what I mean? We eat big, we live big, we laugh big, we love big. That's it. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. To get this incredible recipe and others, go to www.laurainandkitchen.com and I'll see you next time. I'm going back in. Bye-bye.